YouTube. Welcome back, Dub Digital Crypto News Mac Ro Trends. Give me subscribe if you appreciate that content. I'm trying to give you the hottest crypto content on the internet. Guys, I know this coin ain't popular, but look at my face. I don't give a damn. You know I only care about that moolah, that cheddar, that green. And there ain't no shade of green I like better than BCH, baby. Bitcoin cash click, where you at? But don't trip, guys. It's not all bad news. We're going to dig all up into the price action, cut it up a little bit. And guys, I mean it when I say it. Make sure to stick to the end. Because after the TA, we're going to get all up into the FA. Because this is the dub digital channel. You know I get that TA and that FA and I mix it. Oh, oh, spoiler alert, y'all. The services and merchants willing to accept Bitcoin Cash just keep growing and growing. Some of them you already know. Some of them are a household name. But one of them is backed by Mr. Kim.com himself. The man, the myth, the legend. But you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's pull up the chart. All right, guys. I'm sitting on the BCH USD. Pair. Let's get it. If you missed my last video on BCH, what are you doing? Click above. For you lazy people out there, just to keep things nice and clean, BCH busted out on the scene in 2017. Ooh, rhymes, baby. I got them. And during the beginning of its life cycle, BCH, it baselined around $300. Everyone was talking smack about it, saying it's a fake Bitcoin. A whole bunch of this and a whole bunch of that. But you know what, guys? I wasn't having it. And it sounds like y'all weren't either. Because over the next 60 days, Bitcoin cash went up super fast. And at the height of its wick in 2017 this thing reached almost four thousand dollars but in percentage terms that's over a one thousand percent gain over the course of two months that's so bullish it makes me nervous my chest just kidding guys it's too early in the video to trip like that but what do we know guys hard up hard down every action has an equal and opposite reaction and then after bch's glorious peak after december 2017 over the next 100 days this thing came crashing down and then right here we got a whole bunch of people trying to buy the bottom and then it took bch another 227 days to totally deflate bch ultimately dropped 97 percent and during that time no one was laughing either because everyone they was crying in the field position texting their mom tell them that they love her because markets charting all of that it don't go up and down because of the crypto gods no money ebbs and flows in and out of assets in and out of assets much like the tide bull market man that's high tide bear market that's low tide but if you follow this channel and you're part of the wolf pack that probably means you believe in mean reversion and assets throughout their life cycle repeatedly enter times of overvaluation and undervaluation dub digital come on bro ain't no one care about bitcoin cash that's trash btc's the king bch sucks shut up dub digital yeah yeah whatever guys i heard all that Phil Flarm Phil. I ain't buying it. Now riddle me this, Batman. Why is one Bitcoin right now around 60,000 bucks and Bitcoin Cash is around 620 bucks? ETC ain't like 10x greater than BCH. It's 100x greater than BCH. I think it's obvious for you to tell that I ain't buying this whole discrepancy in value between BTC and BCH. That's why I approach you at this critical moment in time. And when we zoom up, guys, you can clearly see that this line going across the chart right here at about $657, it's been acting like a price cap on the bch price keeping this asset held down to death well guys when in doubt study the bottom trend line and when we draw a line right under here on this recent price action you'll obviously see in the last 105 days bitcoin cash has risen in percentage about 139 percent how do you like those apples bch it don't belong down there not now not ever and when we look at this hard resistance for the last couple years we see that it intersects with the bottom trend line running up on the bottom of the bch price this in turn forms a triangle Angle. because even though we've yet to break over the 662 dollar level and do a resistance support flip you guys remember this line down here i think you do because this was the last resistance point yeah 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 whatever dub digital we already know all that i see you guys are all impatient today so let's cut to the chase bitcoin cash should be hitting somewhere around 1100 dollars but remember we're not going to be out of the woods just yet because we've been down at this area for so freaking long i'm expecting the price to go up touch because we have to come back dub digital are you freaking serious I'm tired of waiting. I see all these coins going up and I'm missing them. And that makes me all pissed. And that makes me think Bitcoin Cash sucks. Good things come to those who wait. We're gunning for the all time high around 4,000 bucks, putting us at a percentage gain of about 500%. And if that's not making it click in here, let me put it to you like this Bitcoin Cash 
spent most of its life in the top 10. Bitcoin Cash has a grayscale trust and more and more people and more and more services are starting to understand why Bitcoin Cash is not only valuable, but useful. Up digital. You're tripping. That's crazy. Well, I might be tripping and I've been called crazy, but guys, come on. I'm getting tired of all this TA. Let's get in some of that FA because this is the dub digital channel. You know, I get that TA and the FA and I mix it all up. That fundamental analysis because those closer to the knowledge profit. Simple as that. Dated March 30th of 2021. PayPal now allows crypto spending at millions of merchants. PayPal has started allowing US users to spend their cryptocurrency holdings at millions of online merchants globally. Guys, how many times on online forum have we talked about this exact moment in time? PayPal payment platforms getting all up in the game. Accepting crypto, the money of the internet. This is an old hodler's dream come true. The development means PayPal users who hold Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin in PayPal's digital wallet can now convert their crypto holdings into fiat to make purchases. We think it is a transitional point where cryptocurrencies move from being predominantly an asset class that you buy, hold, and or sell to now becoming a legitimate funding source to make transactions in the real world at millions of merchants. Out of all the 3,000, probably even more now, cryptocurrencies, they're only naming Four of them, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Dub Digital, who cares, man? This ain't no big deal. So people are gonna be using Bitcoin Cash on PayPal. They don't use it for nothing else. Bitcoin Cash is one of the most used cryptocurrencies on the globe today. I know for a fact that Bitcoin Cash community be using this thing all over the place. And they're actually building platforms that utilize Bitcoin Cash in a cheap and decentralized manner. Flipstarter provides a way for any project to engage with potential funders in a way that encourages accountability for projects and fairness of founders. It's basically, crowdsource funding. Ever heard of a GoFundMe page? It's kind of like this, but it's anonymous and the payment method is Bitcoin Cash. Check it out. Active Flip Starter, Atomic Dex integration, requesting 100 BCH. Bitcoin Cash internship, requesting 37 BCH. Decentralized Africa Bitcoin Cash, 30 BCH. Bitcoin Cash Nigeria local content creation project, 6.31 BCH. So if you guys got any good ideas, come over to flipstarter.bitcoincash.network. But guys, that's already a lot but it's definitely not all because kim.com he's been building his own content creation platform labeled k dot I am the ultimate content monetization system aimed to become the easiest and most secure way to generate revenue with digital content using you guessed it bitcoin cash if you take anything away from this video the most important part is right here because i was looking at the roadmap of k.im just to see how far mr kim has gotten and to be honest they started way back in 2016 with the initial crowdfunding they got the encryption straight incorporated bitcoin lightning integration they got the ui straight in q2 of 2020 they got the testing and security audit done which is huge but in q2 of 2021 bitcoin cash is getting integrated like a straight beast and then at Q4 of 2021. That's when the fun starts because K.IM is going to launch the digital. Who the hell cares about this thing launching? Well, um, let me think. You should care because this thing sounds like it's trying to rival freaking YouTube because what do I say on this channel, guys? Price appreciation is just a symptom of the fundamentals playing out. This thing can be used by other people in different countries where the cost of living is lower to actually live off this stuff, much like blockchain gaming is doing now. And I think human value is making a switch from trading your time for money to monetizing content and creativity and lastly guys this was a wild one dated april 1st of 2021 the power of eth and bch smart bitcoin cash project highlights innovative side chain dub digital bitcoin cash and ethereum what the heck i know it's kind of crazy right it's weird right i like that let's read about it bitcoin cash proponents were introduced to a new website that features a project called smart bitcoin cash essentially the project is a side chain of Bitcoin Cash that is compatible with Ethereum's EVM and Web3 API, which means people will soon be able to leverage the centralized applications or DAP without paying lots of money for transaction fees. There we go, guys. Ethereum's too freaking expensive, pissing me off. And it's pissing off the whole freaking world too. And it's interesting that a sidechain on Bitcoin Cash is actually being considered. I bet you those Ethereum maxis are dying right now. Smart BCH will also offer EVM and Web3 compatible and has short block intervals to support DeFi 
applications. The throughput will be as large as 1 billion gas every 15 seconds to allow more users to practice DeFi at a very low cost. Develop trustless non-custodial two-way pegged gateways, which can support any kind of side chains of Bitcoin Cash for securely transferring BCH bi-directionally. This enables Bitcoin Cash to include more side chains for a richer ecosystem. And this is kind of what I've been talking about when I've been saying the future isn't one coin. It's a future of many coins, protocols, filling the holes of other protocols to make an optimal system. And where Ethereum lacks in practicality of gas fees, Bitcoin Cash is picking it up. All right, guys, I just want to bring you an update on Bitcoin Cash because I got this feeling that BCH wants to fly and we already see it pushing up. And even though we might have some corrections along the way, as long as that bottom trend line is steadily moving up, that's what we like to see. But on the fundamental end, that's what's really looking interesting for BCH. We got PayPal out here from US customers to spend four cryptos amongst millions of merchants. We got a decentralized GoFundMe page. We got Kim.com coming out with the K.im platform where people just like me can get paid in Bitcoin Cash. And to top it all off, Ethereum looks like it might just be reaching out to Bitcoin Cash to solve its scalability and gas issue. What kind of attention would BCH get? And how would the perception of BCH within investors' minds switch overnight? But hey, you ain't gotta listen to me. This is not financial advice. I'm just a dude on the internet. If you appreciate the content, give me a like, comment, subscribe, dub, digital, crypto news, macro trends. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.